Hey, check it out, YouTube. It's this new channel that we just launched, Convict's Perspective. It's your boy, Flacco. Right here with Rojo. What's good with it out there, man? As previously discussed, we're opening a whole different new channel from a Convict's Perspective. Both me and Rojo have years and years of experience, over 30 years being involved in street gangs, criminal activities, and criminal organizations. So we're gonna take our past experience and try to convey a positive message touching base on numerous issues in the community, as well as numerous issues in the world. We're gonna be open to different dialogue, different types of topics, solution, and just ideals. We're gonna take our previous experiences as far as being part of these criminal organizations and street gangs and try to apply what we know and what we've learned and how we could hopefully make a solution out there in these streets. Now I'm gonna let you know a little bit about myself. My name is Flacco. I was raised in Mopitas, California, which is in the South Bay area, next to San Jose. By 1990, I was already gangbanging out there on the streets, committing numerous types of activities, gun fights, stabbings, fights, everything you could think of I was involved in. By 1996, I already found myself being pulled as a new Estadasa member in the Santa Clara County Jail. From there, I was able to elevate my status, working hand in hand with different NF members as an NF associate. Numerous times, I was authority in charge of several facilities, working hand in hand with other C's, communicating with different individuals that were Cat 3's, generals, and even running my own crews out there on the streets. Eventually, I decided to defect from this lifestyle and decided to change all, based on all the betrayal and corruption that I experienced at the hands of this organization. The message that I'm trying to convey here is hopefully for change out there with the youth and those who are still struggling living this lifestyle. Hopefully I can share some of my experiences, my ideas, and give you something that you can take with you and hopefully change your life. If not, hopefully we can be entertaining for you viewers out there and give you something very interesting that you guys can listen to. And furthermore, what we'd like to do with this channel is be very open to dialogue from our listeners. You know, if you guys have a topic or, or an idea that you'd like to hear us, you know, give the pros and cons of our perspectives or whatnot, man, that, that's what this channel is about is getting you guys involved and answering questions you might have. Like as far as how being a, a ex-felon has affected us in our lives and whatnot, you know, problems getting a job. You name it, you know, we, we, we really want you guys to, to bring up things that, that you'd like to hear us debate, you know. You know, personally, I've done about 15 years, you know, in prison. And uh, I was a member of uh, the NR and NF for over a decade. So, oh man, as a 19 time over convicted felon, you know, I have a big perspective on how that has affected me on the outside world as well, because, uh, you know, I've, I've been out for quite a long time too. and. You know, it, being, a fe being a felon affects you, but uh, to what extent? You know what I mean? I mean, what does it block you from? Uh, does it help you in any way? Which, you know, we're willing to, to debate all them kinds of things with you guys and, and, and enlighten as far as our experience goes and what you might be looking at fresh off the streets or whatever, you know? So we're here to, to communicate with our listeners and hopefully bring some great content to this channel. Yeah, I'm going to go further and, and kind of discuss how I decided to get involved doing these inter YouTube interviews and moderating certain different channels. So I say about six months ago, I started getting in contact with a lot of ex-NF members, ex-NR members. And I started dialoguing after years of, of being away from this lifestyle. As you guys heard from my stories, after I had defected from the organization, um, I suffered from an addiction issue for years. And... Um, my life was in turmoil. I was still out there in the streets, pushing a lot of dope, committing felonies, and um, was out there a savage. I was like a rogue out there in the streets. Anybody knows, they knew me. When I was out there in the East Bay, Stockton, Antioch, I was out there letting everybody know who I was, running around with a pistol in my waistband, not caring who, who wanted to come see me, telling people who I was. And um, some situations happened about five years ago where I changed my life. You know, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired of the life I was living. And I felt it was time for me to finally do the reasons why I walked away from this organization was because of the betrayal and corruption that was surfaced towards me and my family. You guys all heard my story. Y'all know the situation about Lencho. Y'all know about my ex-wife being sexually assaulted. And that really took me to some dark places in my life. And um, I had a hard time walking away. And, and eventually I found a spiritual solution for myself to where I'm trying to better myself. And I've been working on myself for five years and made numerous changes to where I'm successful in life. You know, I, I have full custody of my, my seven-year-old son. I have two other kids. I'm proactive in their life. Um, 
I have a good job where I generate money for myself, nobody else. And I'm, I'm of service every day trying to help others, mentor different youths, um, as well as young adults out there that are struggling. They not necessarily have to be gang members. You know, I'm always open to talk and try to help and give people guidance from my perspective of what I've got, been through. So when I was listening to this, these prison generous because I'm interested because that's a part of my, that's a huge part of my life, regardless of where my life is today, you know, that was, a, that played a big role in who I am today. So I started seeing all these little different prison ch channels jump off and, you know, Neil Desai, Savage Studios, Paradigm News Media, all these different channels and stuff. And I started seeing comments from listeners out there that never lived that life or that basically they were low on the totem pole and they thought that they were in the know of certain situations. So I decided to comment on something about the 70s, you know, that was told to me. I know numerous NF members that were recruited back there in the 70s, you know, like Hobo from San Fran, uh, Rabbit from San Ho, and then all the old generals. I used to be in communication with a lot of these individuals. So I know a lot of the history, you know, and so I commented on, on someone and someone got at me from PNG News Media, the brother out there in Chicago, Mike, shout out, shout out to the brother right there because he helped get me started in doing these interviews. And he got back at me and said, look, I'm very interested in, in finding an ex-NF member from the 70s or a northerner. So I gave him my email, communicated with him, and uh, I told him I could get someone for him. And I was going to get this individual named Robert Rios, Rabbit from San Ho, a longtime NF member. I think from 74 to 1996, he was an NF member active. And uh, me and him had been working hand in hand as far as on this thing that was called Facebook Miracles, where people, ex gang members were going on there giving their testimonies. And I was supposed to go on there and give my testimony. And he was working at a pro a pro house out there in San Jose. And um, he works hand in hand with uh, Daniel Contreras, uh, the pastor for Victor Outreach. And so I was communicating with all these individuals because that's my whole purpose is to try to go give back and create some type of change. So I had Rabbit on board to do this interview with PNG News Media. And um, what ended up happening about a week before this interview was supposed to happen, Rabbit went MIA. And so me, if I give you my word, I'm gonna do something, I still think I'm impeccable with my word and I have integrity and morals. Regardless of however my situation, however I defected and left the organization, that's between me and them. You know, there was betrayal there, they were disloyal to me, so I don't owe them any loyalty. And that's just my whole pers perspective on that situation. But if I'm, more, if I'm talking to you, communicating with you, and I give you my word on something, I'm gonna live up to it. So I called this individual, and I didn't wanna look like a liar, that I made this promise and all of a sudden now it looks like I'm reading it on the situation. And I thought about it, I said, look, you know, I functioned for years out there. You know, I was in communication with not only the, the one of the current generals that's in the States, but with the some of the generals that are in the feds, some of the cat three captains, as well as some of the cat twos. And some of these cat twos are now cat three members. I worked hand in hand with all these individuals. As you've heard in my testimony on, on stories written by a current prisoner, and I've always been informative because a lot of C's took a lot of liking to me. Therefore, when I was a Nuestra Raza member, I was privileged to a lot of information that other C's were not being given because I was working hand in hand with certain C's. So I decided to do these interviews. And from there, I started to get a lot of positive feedback. Um, let me backtrack. So PNG News Media hooked me up with stories written by a current prisoner. And I've been working hand in hand on that platform, bringing different interviews, doing interviews and trying to convey a message while at the same time entertain the listeners. And a lot of the feedback that I was getting from individuals was, is that they liked the way I artic articulated myself. They liked my ideas and they liked how I gave a solution and then tr and gave it raw and cut while at the same time being informative, but giving some type of sense of direction for the youth. So. As we've been doing this, as you've noticed, you know, I'm going to continue to do a lot of work on stories written by a current prisoner. This channel is going to be a little bit different. We may bring up certain things about the NF within these, these contents and, and our experiences, but we're trying to open up dialogue for certain issues out there in the community. That's going to be our whole focus. So after doing these interviews, I, I, like I said, I started getting positive feedback. People like the way I speak. So I decided to, to bring Rojo in, and Rojo's going to tell you how he got started uh, doing these interviews and what's his goal behind it and his story. Yeah, the way I got in, man, as you know, Flacco, is uh, from you. You know, I had been listening to, you know, a lot of them channels out there 
Paradigm News Media, Neil Dezad, Wes Watson. And, you know, I was real interested in their stories. And, uh, you know, you had got in touch with me and asked me if I thought about doing interviews, which, you know, I never really have because I wanted to maintain a low profile because, you know, I still live in the hood, you know. And uh, a lot of time has passed and a lot of people have no idea who I am. But uh, at the same time, I didn't want to draw attention to myself. But, um, you know, after after listening to, to your interviews and listening to the Homeboy Boxer, you know, shout out to Paradigm News Media and Shot Caller Podcast. And, uh, you know, obviously I've been on stories with a current prisoner. I've done, you know, four or five different long segments on there about myself and about different issues. And, you know, I've seen a lot of the comments and feedback you guys would get, and some would be entertaining, some would be, you know, really good questions and stuff. And I was like, man, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to participate in this and, 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 you know, have that opportunity to, to share my story and offer my insight as to how my life's been affected by my choices in the past, you know, being a member of the NF and uh, multiple terms to prison, the indeterminate shoe in Pelican Bay, and, and also being on the streets for a long time, you know, although I've done around 15 years in prison, I've also done, you know, the last 15 or so on the streets. So, you know, I've been fortunate enough to have a, a lot of time you know, in, in both places to, to gain both different kinds of life experience. And, uh, you know, I think I have a lot to offer and, 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 you know, I'm more than willing to engage with any of the listeners who have any questions or, or have topics they want to be discussed, man, because, you know, once I did my first video with uh, stories by a, a current prisoner, you know, I found, my, I found myself enjoying it, you know, and I, I never thought I would because, you know, I'm a private kind of dude and, and I, I don't speak that much. My, my social circle is small. And, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed what you guys were doing and, and I figured I could contribute in our own way. And then, you know, we get to talk in and we're like, man, we should, you know, start our own little channel and address issues that we think, you know, the listeners might want to hear. You know, we're going to continue to doing a lot of interviews with the brother Tony at uh, Stories by a Current Prisoner. We're going to focus all the interview kind of stuff there. But but on our channel, you know, we're trying to. It's, it's supposed to be designed to be interactive with with the listeners and the community and to discuss issues. And it doesn't have to be about prison, man. You could bring up any kind of topics you want, be it politics, you know, uh, sports. I mean, every everyday life, you know, but just to just check it out from like what we think and, you know, any advice you're searching for, you know, like, well, I wonder what, you know, I should do in this situation. And, you know, although we're not all knowledge and wisdom, you know, we, we do have a lot of experience to say, hey, you know, you might you might consider this or you might consider that. And, you know, going to a job interview fresh out of jail or or whatever might be slowing you down in life, man, we'll try to help you out. You know what I mean? We'll offer you the best advice, heartfelt advice and go ahead and give it to you. And that's that's the main reason I got involved in, in doing these interviews and, and, and creating this podcast is just to help out the best way that I can. Yeah, so with that said, this is just the intro, letting you know what this channel is gonna be about. We're gonna touch on numerous issues in the community. You know, we're gonna, you know, touch base still about our past lives, our involvement with the NF and, and even ideas of, of, of different topics, you know what I mean, that you, that you guys have. And what we want you guys to do is comment right here on this page, right? On what you want us, topics you want us to bring up. Cause we're gonna start pushing some content out throughout this week. Right now we're lining up to do video after video after video so we can just push this this uh, this channel. All right, so please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you, have a good day.